Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is not too much about Corel Draw, but it might help you in Corel Draw if you if you uh, have Windows. So every, you should know that if you go Control C and then you move this over here or don't move it, and then you go Control V, it'll put a duplicate. You controlled, copied, and you controlled paste. But if you're having to do a lot of pasting, uh, here's something that might help you out with Windows. If we go to this email I just started writing, and I take all these names, and I control C, and then I take this list or a paragraph or whatever, and I control C, and then I actually go to some uh, like a wedding vow and go control C, I haven't had to go back to Corel. But now I can go back to Corel and I can hold down or press the window button is normally left bottom plus the V key. So I'm gonna hold down the window and the V key and it comes up this. And all you have to do is like double click on that and it brought it in. Control or Windows V, get this list of name, double click and it brings it in. Now it's bringing it on top, but that doesn't really matter. Control V or Windows V, double click on it. Now it brings it in like Corel does. And so it, this is really for a different type, like a word processor type account, I would think. But you could take this, and I do this all the time, go up to text and convert it to a artistic text. Now you have the names and they're spelled right, text, artistic text. Then you can break them apart, and then we'll take this paragraph and go text, <clears throat> artistic text. And then, of course, it's too long for the screen, but if you bring in your uh, uh, text editor, you know, you could uh, change this and make it a more looking like a paragraph and say okay and now you have a paragraph cut. So it takes you, it you could cut and pot, you could cut or copy a lot off the internet and then instead of having to go back and forth the internet to get a new, so you normally you would have to copy and paste immediately and you could do this between pages. I mean, if we want to start a new page, I just hold down the Windows key and the V and remember I did that earlier? I'm just gonna double, well, that's not a font probably. So Windows V and double click on there and I get that same paragraph on a new page. Not that big a deal, but it's kind of a unique little Windows trick, I guess. Anyway, hope that helped, thank you for